Whoa! Are all snakes aggressive? This one sure is. This is actually a Taiwan beauty snake right here. And over the next 24 hours, I'm going to disprove 25 weird myths about snakes. Woohoo! This little monkey here is pretty incredible. Are all snakes aggressive? Woo! Do you want to kiss her? Do you want me to do it? You can kiss her. So obviously, as you can see, all snakes aren't aggressive. As a matter of fact, the vast majority of the snakes that we keep aren't aggressive. We got a couple that are a little bit cranky, but the vast majority of our animals are super docile. So there is no doubt that all snakes aren't Hi, aggressive. Little sunshine. Hi, little sunshine. Hello! Can you hear me? Where are you going? Hello! So the fact is, is that snakes actually don't have outer ears and they don't have eardrums, but they absolutely can hear. What it is, they use their skin, their muscles, and even their bones to have vibrations to what they call an inner ear. So although they don't hear like we do, they absolutely can hear. Mike, a baby snake, you know what that means. The mom's got to be around somewhere. Let's go find her. Mom! Mom! Are you down there? Mom? Mom! I can't find her. Hello? Mom? I don't think she's anywhere. You guys can actually stop looking. The truth is maternal instinct for mother snakes is really not there. Some will protect the actual eggs until they hatch. Unless they've just been born, then of course mom would still be around. All that time for nothing. Baby snakes are actually more dangerous than adult snakes. And I can tell you guys that that's absolutely not true. A baby snake biting doesn't hurt nearly as bad. This guy's lashed right onto my knuckle right now and it doesn't feel very good. It's got bigger teeth and it definitely hurts more. But I do think that there's a myth that it was actually talking about. I'm gonna talk later in the vlog that actually is about baby snakes being a little bit more dangerous than adults but for now i just gotta get this guy oh stop it i'm not food i promise Woo! yeah that hurts a little bit oh my god call an ambulance i got it what are you i got the venom out when you get bit by a venomous snake, you should always suck the venom out. That could not be further from the truth. As soon as that venom is in your veins and in your blood system, there is no stopping it. You're not gonna suck it out. So all those little snake bite kids that have a little suction thing, all a bunch of garbage. Wow. Then what was that in my mouth? Take a look at the triangular shape of this snake. And if there's one thing I know about snakes, is that when you see a triangular head like this one, it's got to be venomous. That's right. Well, the truth is it's not. This is actually a tree boa from Madagascar are called a Tanzania madagascarinensis, and there are a tremendous amount of non-venomous snakes that have this amazing triangular head. So if you see a snake in the wild and it doesn't have a triangular head, don't assume that it's not venomous. Look at how a snake moves, almost like a noodle. It can't possibly have bones. Do snakes have bones? No. Well, snakes actually do have bones. They're what? all bones and cartilage, hundreds of ribs in these guys, and then muscles. So basically, they just have a ton of ribs, and they have a ton of bones in them. And of course, surrounded by muscle that makes them undulate and move like that. So the myth is snakes don't have bones, but as you can see, they certainly do. Learn something new every day. Look at Night Fury, this beautiful glossy snake that has an iridescent sheen that's absolutely wonderful. Now, of course, people think because of this amazing glossy sheen that they're wet and they're actually slimy. Ew, it's slimy. It couldn't be further from the truth. Look it, I'll just rub my hand on it. No slime at all, but let's go one step further. I've got a paper towel here. Let's go ahead, wipe, 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 wipe. Not even one bit of water. Snakes are not slimy, they're not wet. They're just shiny that makes them look like they're slimy. Remember me telling you the story about the woman that had a snake that used to sleep in her bed? And every morning she woke up, it'd be stressed from her feet all the way to her head. She took it to the vet and the vet said, oh my gosh, it's sizing you up, it's about to eat you. They had to euthanize the snake. Well, we know that isn't true. And the only way to disprove that is I guess I've gotta go take a nap. Oh. Not only did she not eat me, but she makes a darn good pill. Let me take another hour nap. Noah has a milk snake. I have some milk and Mike has got a bowl. And the myth is, is that milk actually will attract milk. So we're gonna go ahead and set it down on the floor and see if it's true. Okay, here we go. Let's see if the milk goes towards it. It's going towards it and it's going right by it. Doesn't seem to be interested at all. Hmm. And I'll put the milk snake kind of over it. Come on, milk snake, you're supposed to be drinking milk. Why do you name a milk snake? Little bonus facts while we're down here. Rednecks are black is a friend of Jack. Rednecks are yellow is a deadly fellow. You see, this is Redneck the Black. He's a friend of Jack. But it's only true to Central and North America. It's actually not true to the rest of the world. But I don't think this milk is working. What do you guys think? Nah. Nope, I'm gonna drink it. I don't think Mike cleaned that bowl out, did you? 
I'm not saying that. The next myth is that snakes always travel in pairs. Have you guys been out hunting snakes? Yes. Always two at a time, I catch Always two at a time. Well, I've been out all over the world, and rarely do you find more than one snake in one location. Of course, they can be hiding in the same spot, but I don't know how it is. Let's put this to the test by taking two California king snakes and setting them on the ground. And see if they stay together. Well, it appears that they're moving in opposite directions. Hey, buddy, you're supposed to stay with your pal over here. I don't think he cares. Well, this guy's not doing anything. He's not traveling at all. This guy's, like, traveling away as fast as he could get. What do you guys think about this myth? Do snakes travel in pairs? Myth busted. You said it. All right, guys, I think there's no way that snakes travel in pairs. Constrictors like Al, the reticulated python, actually constrict their prey and actually stop their breathing. Is that right? No, that's not right. No. <laughs> they actually restrict the blood flow and actually stop the heart. They don't restrict the breathing. So every time that you take a breath, it just kind of tightens and tightens and tightens, eventually stopping the blood flow. Then the heart actually goes into failure, and then ultimately you end up stop breathing at the end. Either way, you're dead. This next miss is that snakes can dislocate their jaws to eat big prey, and there is no doubt that they can eat pretty big prey. Oh, whoa! Whoa, look at that. Nice hit there, buddy. The fact is, is that snakes don't actually dislocate their jaws. They actually have a membrane that can stretch big. They're sometimes two or three hundred percent bigger than their head, or even more at times, but they actually don't dislocate their jaw. It's just that membrane that can stretch really far. This next miss is that snakes are mainly tail, and you can see with Vlad, the legless lizard, this is where his tail actually starts right here. So this whole part right here is all tail. Definitely about two thirds of his body are tail, not the case with snakes. And then when you take it with a snake, you can see his tail actually starts right here at the vent area. You can see the tail relatively long, but certainly only about 10% of the body. So the fact is snakes are definitely mostly not tail. As a matter of fact, they're mostly body and only a little bit, probably less than 10% tail. And speaking of tail, people think that a snake's tail can actually sting people. Uh, uh, oh, uh, oh, oh, stop. Oh, uh, stop. So painful. Stop. Ah. Yeah, the fact is, is there's, there's no snake on the planet that has a stinger on its tail. So even rattlesnakes and stuff like that can rattle, but there's no venom or anything that can happen from the tail of a snake. They might poke you. Can't sting you. You can tell the age of a rattlesnake by the amount of buttons it has on. The buttons are these little things right here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. It's actually rubbish. The truth is, is that every time a snake sheds, it will gain a button when it's a rattlesnake. And even though it'll gain a button every time it sheds, every now and then buttons will break off. A snake could shed three, four, five, six times in a year, and buttons can fall off whenever. So a 10-year-old snake can have three buttons, or a 10-year-old snake could have 10 buttons. Doesn't really matter. You could definitely not tell the age of a rattlesnake by how many buttons it has on its tail. How to come drop buttons? We all know Jimmy, the, the snake, he's not exactly the most happy snake in the world. And the myth is, is that an angry snake, oh, it got me good. An angry snake is always gonna chase after you. So let's go ahead, walk away from Jimmy, and see if he's gonna chase after us, all right? Uh, he doesn't think he's like, oh, he's coming after me, guys. He's gonna, oh, no, he's not. See if he's gonna come after me. No, he doesn't come after me. If I really get down really close like this and get to him, he's gonna come after me. Come on, buddy. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh he got ah, me in the knee. Ah. But you can see he's just trying to get away. He's not coming after us. It's all. absolutely a myth that an aggressive snake wants to chase you down. Jimmy wants nothing to do with us. He just wants to go away. The snake must smell like cucumbers. The boys found out the hard way. <laughs> Mountain Dew. <laughs> God, so if you guys could smell this. Dingo, I love you, man, but dude, I'm gonna smell like this for the next two days. Yeah, I don't think that smelled like cucumbers. I can still smell it. Females actually protect their brood by putting the baby snakes in their mouth. This is so stupid, I'm not even gonna talk about it. This is a mildly venomous snake. And the myth is, is that venomous snakes will have elliptical pupils, meaning like cat eye pupils. And ironically enough, these guys are called cat eyed snakes. But the fact is, is that pythons and boas also have vertical pupils just like a cat. Too. And then king cobras and other elapids oftentimes have round pupils like us. Don't ever think that if a snake has round pupils that it's not venomous. Because trust me, you're gonna end up in bad shape and this little monkey is in a bad mood. Only rattlesnakes rattle their tail. Myth! Myth! See right there, that is actually a corn snake. Lots of colubrids will rattle their tail as a mimicry towards rattlesnakes. That way if something comes up on in the wild and they got that tail rattling. Whoa, maybe that's a rattlesnake. But the truth is, it's just a corn snake. There's a myth that say snakes in the summertime actually go blind. And as you can see with my anaconda here, it's got blue eyes and it almost looks like it's blind, but it's actually going into shed. And there's two reasons for the summertime thing. Number one, snakes are out the majority of the time during the summer. So people see them a lot more in the summer cruising around. And of course they shed a lot more in the summer because they're eating, right? Not to mention people are out hiking in the summer and they see a snake and they see those blue eyes just like jazz here. And they think, oh my gosh, that snake has gone blind. So the myth is, is that because it's summertime to avoid the heat, they go blind. Which could not be further from the truth. They're just shedding. Remember earlier in the vlog, I talked about baby snakes being more dangerous
percent adults. Well, this is the myth that actually it probably pertains to, and it's that baby venomous snakes are actually more lethal than adults. And the thinking behind it is that adult snakes oftentimes do what they call a dry bite. They want to preserve their venom, so when they bite you, they actually don't inject your venom. Babies, they're just trying to protect themselves, so every time they bite you, they're going to juice you with a bunch of venom. The fact is, a baby snake is going to have less of a yield of venom because it's smaller, and their venom glands are smaller than an adult. So an adult venomous snake is definitely going to pack more of a punch than a baby snake, unless you're really lucky and get what they call a dry bite. This next myth is that snakes cannot bite underwater. So we're going to go ahead and put this viper bow in here, and we're going to go ahead and put it to the test. So interestingly enough, this viper boa that's always so willing to bite when we put it in water it seems to have really chilled out. Now, I definitely know that snakes can bite underwater. If you think of sea snakes, they actually eat underwater. Elephant trunk snakes eat underwater. Interesting to see a snake that is always ready to bite constantly to go underwater and actually chill out. So I would say this myth is partially true. Definitely worked with our viper boa, but I wouldn't trust it when it came to a venomous snake like a cobra or a taipan or a mamba that's swimming around the water. So don't give that a try. But I tell you what, in this case, it actually worked. Next myth. Myth, this video's over. No, really, it's over. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one. Why the heck is there milk?